What's up guys, today I wanted to discuss the truth behind the lead single of Aaliyah's third and self-titled album, We Need a Resolution. Aaliyah's self-titled album had displayed her highest progression and step into adulthood. Because We Need a Resolution was picked as the lead single, it would go on to seriously affect how well the album debuted and continuously sold. According to a Fuse TV article, Aaliyah had actually wanted loose rap to be the first single. However, as stated by one of Aliyah's producers, Rapture Stewart, the popularity of Rock the Boat called for a change of plans and for a video. The only reason they shot Rock the Boat was because the radio was already playing it. So that kind of forced it to be the second single instead of More Than a Woman. They went with Timberland's song for the first single because that was her sound at the time. But he was actually the last person to work on that album. Due to the uncertainty with Timberland being able to make his deadline in time, since he was so busy, the song Loose Rap was initially chosen as the album's lead single. However, once Timberland submitted his songs within the deadline, Aaliyah's record label Backtrack deciding that We Need a Resolution was going to be the lead single instead. Basically, the label was so caught up on having a Timberland produced single as the first one since it was the most familiar aspect of marketing Aaliyah's music. Especially after the juggernaut success of the Timberland produced single Try Again from the year before, which had went to number one and made radio airplay history. Aaliyah was really not up for this decision and it's even been said that this put a riff between Aaliyah and Timberland's friendship. But, being a team player, she went along with it anyway. We Need a Resolution was ultimately released as the first single on April 13th, 2001. A very edgy music video was released with the song, showcasing Aaliyah in a gothic aesthetic, a futuristic world, a snake pit, and doing a smooth dance routine. The song and its instrumental was an experimental sound Timberland was working on as critics described it as having a Middle Eastern vibe and Egyptian snake charmer feel. This sound, however, did not translate well to radio as it did not receive significant airplay like her past singles, only peaking at number 59 on the Billboard Hot 100. When the lead single does not perform well, it would definitely affect an album's sales. Thus, the reason why Aaliyah's self-titled album debuted on the Billboard 200 at number two behind Alicia Keys' album, Songs in a Minor, which had great sales due to her successful debut single, Fallen. With We Need a Resolution being the only official single release before Aaliyah's death, the album considerably sold at a slower rate, but still achieved an honorable gold status. 500,000 copies shipped and sold the week before the accident. We Need a Resolution may not have been the best choice for a lead single of Aaliyah's third album, but it still remains a standout in her iconic catalog. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you for watching and listening. I'll see y'all in the next video.